Here's question number 20 of this exercise. In a potato race, a bucket is placed at the starting point. So this is the bucket and this is placed at the starting point, which is 5 meters from the first potato. So this position is 5 meters away and this is where the first potato would be placed. And the other potatoes are placed 3 meters apart in a straight line. So here we have the first, then we have the second potato here, the third potato here, the fourth potato here and so on. So every potato is placed 3 meter apart from the previous one. So there are 10 potatoes in the line in all and you can still see 6 of them uh, in, in this figure that's shown. Now a competitor starts from the bucket, so starts from this point, picks up the nearest potato, runs back with it and drops it in the bucket and then runs back to pick up the next potato. Then runs to the bucket to drop it in again and she continues in the same way until all the potatoes are in the bucket. So here's how the race would have started. The uh, racer or competitor would have stood here at the position of the bucket. She would have first gone to this first uh, potato, picked it up and then come back. So the distance she would have traveled would be 5 meters this way and then back 5 meters to put the potato back into the bucket. Then she would have gone again to the second uh, potato which is 5 plus 3 or 8 meters and then she would have come back 8 meters to put the second bucket into the potato, uh, second potato into the bucket. Then she would have from here again traveled and gone up to the third potato which was here and then she would have come back and in this case she would have traveled uh, 5 plus 3 plus 3 meters or 11 meters one way and then 11 meters back and so on. So let's, so what we have to do is we have to calculate the total distance the competitor has to run. So what we'll do is for each potato we will calculate the distance the competitor has to travel to pick it up and put it back into the bucket. So for the first potato, for the first potato the uh, competitor has to run 5 meters one way and 5 meters back so that's 10 meters to cover the uh, to bring the potato back into the bucket then for the second potato she has to run 5 plus 3 meters one way to come here till this position and then back 5 plus 3 meters so 8 plus 8 or 16 meters to pick up and put the second potato into the bucket then for the third potato she would run how much one way? So she would run 5, so 5 plus 3 plus 3. So that's 11 meters and then back 11 meters. So 22 meters for the third potato and so on. And this sequence of this progression of distances will continue. So if you think about it, this is an arithmetic progression in which the first term is 10 and every term is 6 meters more than the previous term because for every next potato, the person or the competitor has to run 3 meters extra one way and 3 meters extra the other way. So a total of 6 meters extra for every subsequent potato. That is why you get this series with a common difference of 6. So the total distance the competitor will have to travel is 10 meters plus 16 meters plus 22 meters and so on and up to the 10th term. So this sum up to the 10th term. So in this progression, this is clearly an arithmetic progression. The first term is 10, the common difference is 6 and we have to find the sum of this progression for 10 terms. So n is equal to 10. So we will use the formula Sn is equal to n by 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 times d. So let's plug in the values. So n is 10, so n by 2 is 5 times 2a, a is 10, so 2a is 20, plus n is 10, so n minus 1 is 9, 9 into d is 6. So this is what we get and this simplifies to 5 into 20 plus 9 into 6 is 54, so 54 plus 20 is 74, so 5 into 74, this is equal to 370. So the total distance, the competitor will have to travel is 370 meters. So the answer to this question is 370.
70 meters. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.